Welcome everyone, welcome to this Valentine's Day special that I have for you guys, running tarot readings for only the signs requested, okay? So if you don't see your sign here, it's because it wasn't requested. How do you request? Well, you know, you gotta be my subscriber. You gotta hit the bell for notifications so that you're notified and I let people know when I'm doing these things so that they can comment on my community page and let me know, all right? so. Um, yeah, hit the bell and subscribe if you want to get readings for your sign in the future. And for those of you interested in a private reading, because reminder, it's not a private reading. So take what applies, discard what doesn't. And if you want a private reading, well, wait to the very end and I will give you the details for that. Enjoy. Cancer, welcome on in. I hope you're having a good Valentine's Day. Or if it's not quite February 14th when you see this, I hope you do have a good Valentine's Day. Oh, the cards already want to talk. Oh my gosh, I'll take it, I'll take it. I'm trying to do a five card spread for you, but let, let's honor it, okay? Uh, some of you, you know, dealing, this could be your energy, Cancer, or, you know, it could be a Pisces, regardless of sign. I'm seeing here somebody needs to let go of some fears, anxieties, insecurities. Um, there might be an emotional pattern in your life or the life of somebody that's near and dear to you. Um, a pattern of unmet emotional needs and unhappiness. And with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, it's probably because things have just not gone in their favor. Might be an X that is relevant. But again, I'm seeing that with the Wheel, there's some kind of cyclical pattern, all right? Round and round and round, but it's almost like these are things that are <clears throat> maybe you feel are out of your control. Or whoever is feeling this, they feel like it's out of their control. They've dealt with a lot of bad luck, which has made them unhappy, you know? And they need to get closure. Uh, there we are with another uh, cycle um, with the world card. And this is telling me that things have, you know, not, not got, here's something here about closure, all right? Somebody needs closure, but they haven't gotten closure. There's some unfinished business going on here. Um, somebody maybe is still dealing with an issue that, you know, loose ends that need to get tied up. Um, and there's been a lack of truth here, a lack of clarity, a lack of agreement. There you are, temperance in reverse. Why all these in reverse, sweet Jesus? <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so there's a lack of healing here. There's a lack, and I can see it's an emotional level, all right? This is all emotional, and it's creating, you know... Somebody's, and I'm also seeing with that moon and that ace of swords in reverse, either somebody is outright lying, being deceptive, being elusive, being evasive, or they're just confused within themselves. And with the seven of pentacles in reverse, not really making a, an investment or whatever investment they've made, they're getting limited return on it, okay? <laughs> limited return six of pentacles in reverse there's something off with the give and take here um there's somebody might be in debt and that's why they can't give as much they can't really make the investment or perhaps there's been selfishness um i want to say a name but in today's very uh <laughs> culturally racially sensitive environment where everybody gets called a racist for no reason i'm not going to go there but you know what i'm going to say it's a situation where somebody gives something and then they take it right back. All right. Those of y'all who know me know I am not a racist. So, but I'm not going to say that for people who are quick to say that. Okay. Sorry. I'm a generation X, so we, we don't roll like that. Okay. But, oh God, we're in clown world these days. So I got to be careful. We got some sensitive people out there. Let me move on. There's been some kind of unequal give and take in this relationship. There's been maybe some conditional giving. And like I said, you know, either as soon as they give it, they take it back. Or it's like, well, I'll give to you, but I want this in return. Okay. And again, I'm not going to make a judgment call about who did what. I mean, maybe, you know, somebody was giving unconditionally for a long time and it didn't work out. 
because it was not a fair exchange. And finally, somebody said, hold up, wait a second. You need to put in on this. And, you know, so I'm not, it, it, it could be a number of things. You know your story, but um, I'm really seeing here, you know, there's, there's definitely emotional issue. There's a matter of truth at play. There's a matter of give and take and investments being made. <clears throat> There's a real need here with this moon card for somebody to overcome deception, illusions, and it might have to do with, you know, the home front or getting some kind of growth on an emotional level, having a sense of belonging and really nurturing that and cancer of all signs, sweet Jesus, y'all should be the one to do that. Okay. Y'all are like the mother of the Zodiac, the nurturer, the protector. So either you're not stepping into that or somebody around you is not stepping into that and they need to. Whatever seems out of your control right now with your love life is actually a sign. It's actually showing you what needs to be changed in your approach, in your strategy. Yes, on an emotional level. And this has to do with a big major life lesson cycle in your life, you or somebody around you has not gotten the memo. You have not, you know, passed go. You have not gotten out of jail with the get out of jail card, all right? Like somebody has not graduated, all right, with, with this world in reverse. Somebody wants gratification. They want a feeling of completion in a relationship. They want lasting happiness and success. Maybe they want peace on the home front, but somebody still doesn't have mastery over how to manifest this in a grounded honest way with solidness and integrity because i'm seeing surrounded surrounding these life lessons where there's been a lack of mastery and they feel well it's out of my control eh, 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 eh. no There's an emotional issue here, and it has to do, I'm seeing on either side of it, it has to do with the truth and getting beyond fantasies and illusions and delusions and getting emotional mastery. And this over here is confirming it with temperance and reverse. Somebody just, <clears throat> they, they haven't been able to get emotional harmony. There's been a lack of healing on, again, with matters of emotions and truth. Sorry if I'm repeating myself, but I see it all over this spread. For some of you, this is a past issue, okay? And I see it's gone for a very long time. Um, for some of you, I don't know why I'm getting like 29 years, the last 29 years. And it's the past that's now dominating the future. Um, and again, maybe there was some excessiveness, excessive idealization, excessive ex escapism, es excessive, um, you, you know, I'm not going to keep going on down the list. You probably, if this is your story, you know what the excess is. And somebody struggling with change. And the change needed here is to get balance, moderation, maybe patience, maybe listening to spirit. But with the seven of pentacles in reverse, sorry to say, and gosh, I'm realizing that this is a lot of major arcana, one, two, three, four out of seven cards, okay? This is spirit stepping in saying, uh, 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 hold up, wait a second. Let's have a moment of truth. Let's have some emotional healing here. But is somebody not putting in on it with a seven, six and seven of pentacles in reverse? Somebody has got a lesson here about learning to give of themselves to others or to their partner, to another. Um, and that's really what's out of balance is um, I'm hearing to be fully present with the other person. Um, gosh. I'm going to take this. Um, well, yeah, I, I'm feeling like this is um, not how I've been rolling with the other signs, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to take it. I'm going to take it and um, 
I'm gonna pull from another deck. I'm gonna do something a little bit different for y'all. And I'm gonna pull from another deck to see the five card spread that I was originally trying to get for y'all. That came out, I honored it. And I feel like, <clears throat> I feel like, excuse me. It's just a message that needed to be spoken, okay? Please show me a five card spread for cancer about their love and romantic life. Y'all might be getting a longer reading because, yeah. Just go with it, you know, you gotta go with it. All right, the strength card, you know, is about having that inner strength, having the confidence, the courage, the power. And that's at the foundation. The main issue here is about emotional connection with others. And in the future, it looks like, I'm sorry, in the past, it looks like somebody made a decision, okay? They've been in a time of really taking a time out and pausing. In the future, it looks like they're going to, you know, move forward and move on, move away from something, maybe some difficulty. Some of you might actually be traveling, taking a trip in the near future. I'll clarify that in a moment. The foundation, um, Page of Pentacles, it's like what somebody is offering is not a lot, okay? This is not a King of Pentacles who's coming in with abundance, with trust and security and stability. This is a page. This is kind of an immature energy of, well, here's my little coin that I'm going to put in on this. Um, I think that somebody maybe is being, you know, they are trying to be practical about things. They are trying to be trustworthy. Or maybe they are trustworthy, you know. But again, it's just, um, you know, it's it's at page level. It's like, man, you got to level up here. Um <clears throat> and, and and there might also be communications about this. Pages can sometimes be about communication, people talking, uh, maybe even sometimes also uh, getting positive good money news. Okay, so that's a really good omen. I'm going to clarify exactly how it's expressing itself in this spread. But, um, you know, again, somebody is coming up with good solid ideas, but there's there it needs to become more okay there needs to be more and the overarching energy the outcome star in reverse not a fan this might you know be an aquarian is relevant or a soulmate but with it in the reverse we're looking at somebody has maybe lost their faith um they've given up on something and again it's another card indicating there's been a lack of healing here where did we see that before with the temperance and reverse? <clears throat> you know? So let me, let me see if we can go a little bit deeper into clarifying. Um, yeah, I'm going to use Lenormand to see. So the main issue here is some of you are trying to resolve something with uh, a person that you're united with and you know it might be it might be family because i did see a lot of cards over there indicating that it's family and i don't want to force any of these love readings to be about sexual relationships or romance or whatever because you know what sometimes there's a time and season for everything and sometimes spirit is like really highlighting fourth house stuff and saying you know you got to work on your family and then later on, you get to seventh house with marriage and committed partnerships and stuff like that. Or eighth house, these sexual relationships and intimacy. Some of you, I know y'all. many of you are dealing with Saturn in your eighth house right now, which is putting a lot of constriction on sexual unions and intimacy. So take it how it applies. Um, again, that, that constriction in your eighth house for some of you is that you are getting taken to task on these sexual relationships and having that intimacy with a sexual partner and so for that you know it, this is very relevant in the context of love and romance for others of you the saturn in that eighth house is expressing itself where it's just a dry zone it's like nothing going on over there okay because spirit's like uh, uh we don't want you focused on that we need you to focus on other stuff like your family okay eighth house is like shared resources generational wealth other people's money so if we're not talking about love and romance here, this is most definitely having to do with people that, you know, you share resources with, like your family, generations, okay? 
I had to drink my tea because my voice has not been good for me lately. Let's see if I can get clarification on, I'm just curious to see what comes out about the Two of Cups. Um, who is this involving for Cancer? Because I am getting a soulmate energy here as well. But again, soulmates can, can be a lot of people. <laughs> so, okay, so some of you... Um, You know, it's 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 more than one person, okay? You know, all right, is what I'm getting off of these cards. It's exactly what I just said to you. I try to see if the cards would narrow it down for me, but I'm getting options. It's it, for some of you, like it's not either or; it's both. This is people that you have sexual, have or have had sexual intimacy or with or will, and it's about family, okay? Um, <clears throat> was this decision about in the past my gosh all these cards really if somebody was taking a closer look at maybe the soulmate or you know aquarian or what do they wish for what do they want but there's some kind of possessiveness some kind of jealousy having to do with getting a new beginning in perhaps a relationship where you know somebody here was divorced or again, it was maybe a very long-term committed partnership. Might have involved a widow, widower, somebody switching partners, and there's some kind of jealousy about that. So I see in the past, somebody has spent quite some time uh, taking a pause, evaluating, reviewing, just really examining, what do I want? What do I want in a soulmate, in a partner? What are my ambitions? What are my wishes? But it looks like there's some kind of jealousy here um, for some of you if it's not jealousy this is um, or envy it's um, very quickly very quickly sudden change somebody switched partners after having been in a marriage or a commitment for a very long time where are you moving towards what are you moving towards uh, what is cancer moving towards you're gonna go towards a commitment some type of commitment that's good I think you're trying to move towards more stability and more security um, and again I'm seeing a very key decision being made a very important decision being made possibly with a very important person in your life what is this page of Pentacles about what is this page of Pentacles about okay <clears throat> Oh, goodness. All right. If there's some good money news that comes in, I, I mean, I think that it's, you know, it's maybe part of a goal that you've been working towards, but I don't think it's been a straightforward. And I don't know why I'm getting some kind of breadcrumbing here. Like there's, it's just bits and pieces of crumbs that are like, I don't know why I'm being shown like a dog waiting for the crumbs to fall from the table. Um, this has not been a straightforward process. This is not answering all of your needs. Like, you need more, and you need something straightforward, um, but this kind of energy has been going on where either it's round and round, or it's left, right, left, and, and, and it's like, how do, you know, this is my over the hills and through the woods type of card where it's like, come on, you need a straightforward path, but not only is this thing not straightforward, it's been meager, very meager. I see that you've got some goal in mind, but I mean... This is not, I'm not a fan of that energy at all because there's a lot more that's needed. And yeah, maybe at the, at the outcome, somebody just loses their faith or hope in this situation. What is a star in reverse about? What is a star in reverse about? I am hearing somebody is, yes, giving up. Okay. Um, and that came out sideways, um, but it has to do with, you know, blockages, challenges, limitations, restrictions, lessons. Again, not seen very clearly. I'm seeing with both of these cards. And I even saw it over here with the moon and the ace of swords in reverse. Lack of clarity, lack of clarity. Um, I'm also getting a lack of confidence on both of these cards about overcoming challenges. I don't know, intuitively to read that off on the side like that, I'm going to say I get this feeling like 
<clears throat> it's kind of like this page of pentacles over here well i you know i'm giving something to this but you know it's really not helping me totally put this in reverse right like maybe you got halfway up this mountain but you didn't get up to the top of the mountain because you didn't have enough to get up, get to the top yet enough to get you halfway there but this mountain still is not overcome it is some kind of major lesson challenge in your life and it might have to do with faith perseverance i'm hearing perseverance big time with this mountain and this star i just heard it takes what it takes okay some of y'all don't like what it takes it takes more than a page of pentacles it takes a king of pentacles somebody's got dominion over this but again that just doesn't auto magically happen it's got to be grounded manifestation please tell me what the overarching energy is here for cancer cancer please show me please show me so I'm feeling this this and this and this is at the foundation okay well here we go with the soulmates told you soul connection partnership agreement soul contract it's a karmic relationship fleeting triggers turmoil resentment lessons hello soulmates coming in with lessons letting go and loving you we've got a chaser here in a codependent relationship or fear of abandonment issues I'm not sure who that person is quite yet okay phoenix new phase rekindle renew transformation growth changed mind so you know whoever this person is i think that it's somebody you've been in a very long-term committed partnership with you have a history with them you have a soul connection with them there has been some kind of emotional connection with them you've probably spent a lot of time thinking reevaluating this connection and you will be making important decisions about them i'd say over the next six weeks Okay, I'm getting a six week time frame over that. All right, I'm filming this on February 6th. <clears throat> so, or let's just say from the time you see this, six weeks, six weeks onward, okay? Let's see how they feel. <laughs> Already talking, King of, uh, Knight of Cups, High Priestess, Three of Pentacles. I feel like this person is um, showing a bit of reserve. I think that um, they're a very intuitive, wise person. They are trying to cooperate with you. I think that they are hopeful, but I don't think that they, you know, are very expressive about it. It's there's some kind of holding back going on over here. Of you know, I I'm, I'm hoping for the best, but I'm not <clears throat> I'm not going to get too um, too excited too quick. Uh, let's sit back and see what happens. This is kind of a waiting waiting game type of thing. Um, this person, they're not really opening up much. Um, I kind of get the feeling with this person that they want to take a wait and see approach. They don't really want to um, speak too soon. Uh, but they are being very cooperative towards you. They want to regard you as a team player. You might work with them for some of you. I do feel like um, you or they, you know, or maybe the people that you work with, there's been a breakdown of communication or somebody's been going through some kind of difficult time in their life and they're trying to kind of make it through um, these, these changes, that, these difficult changes that they're going through in their life. And it might be um, somebody might be leaving a home or um, there might have been some kind of arguments about it. And now we have <clears throat> um, a king of wands in reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 
and I saw Cancer Scorpio Pisces over here. So my concern here is that if there have been arguments, there's definitely somebody here, uh, possibly masculine energy, a fire sign possibly who, um, you know, regardless of gender or sign, somebody here is not really um, listening. Okay, that's part of where the um, arguments are coming from. They're they're not listening, um, or again, where this person might feel that they're not they're not going to be listened to or heard. And it's <coughs> excuse me, it's weird because I this one person here is definitely paying attention to their intuition, very intuitive, um, very discerning, very wise person. This one over here is not, and again, that's might be why they're. Like, you know, I, I want to wish for, for the best, but it's probably wise to lay low right now, play it safe, uh, see where this goes, because I don't know about this person here. They don't really, they're not a person who uh, listens to their intuition. Um, or that they're a person who, you know, if we have a disagreement, they don't listen to me. They don't listen to what I say. This is somebody who does whatever the hell they want to do at the end of the day. They're very self-interested. So again, I'm going to say if you know if you're if you've been in arguments with this person, um, that's why they might perceive you as somebody who just doesn't hear them out or doesn't doesn't pay attention to spirit or is very self interested. And if that's it, might be the other way around because it is a general reading. You've got to take what applies, you know, apply it however it applies. But. <clears throat> Can I see anything else? Anything else? Yeah, I'm getting this. I'm I'm getting this kind of very reserved. Like this person's playing it cool, playing it safe, and they're gonna see where it goes. All right. So um, they might also have other things that they are trying to focus on right now. Maybe finances. All right. Um, if they if somebody is leaving a home, they are um, maybe between two locations. Um, and or they're trying to get they're trying to get from point A to point B, but um, I do see somebody here trying to again needing to make some change. And where did we see that before um, with that phoenix? Okay, and so. <clears throat> Two of Pentacles is also, you know, money issues, um, trying to figure out how to manage uh, maybe a financial situation that has got a little bit um, dicey, trying to get some balance with their finances. Something about options here might be relevant for whoever this masculine energy is. Um, but I am seeing maybe somebody leaving home and being between two locations might be two jobs. How you feel about it? Well, uh, conflicted, it seems. And again, that this is a family group dynamic, um, might have been arguments within a family or group dynamic. It could simply just be, um, conflict within yourself. Um, if it is on the financial front, I'm seeing a lot of competition going on. Um, oh yeah. I feel like you want to get the victory in this situation. You want to win this battle, all right? Um, you want to make plans for the future in partnership um, and get some closure with these issues. Yes, issues may be having to do with a fixed sign, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. I think that you're you're willing to battle through this situation, honestly. But you know, especially if you feel it's going to get you to victory and get you to closure, like it's interesting because we saw that before with that, um, you know, world card in reverse that there was unfinished business and something having to do with a lesson, which I saw over here um, with this karmic relationship where there's some kind of unfinished business. I think you want to finish the business. I think you want to get some kind of closure. And make plans for your future, but anything else? What else is, uh, wow, 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 okay. Some of you want a new sexual union, okay? Um, you've been contemplating about this. Um, you want expansion in your life. Some of you are looking outside of a union, though. Um, 
Um, and again, it might be something going on in the workplace or, you know, you're trying to work really hard on this. There's that strengths card again. Some of you have prominent Leo placements. Not a big surprise, you know, since um, Leo is a sign right after yours, right? Uh, a lot of Cancers have prominent Leo placements and a lot of Leos have prominent Cancer placements. But it keeps coming up, right? Where did we see this before? Over here. <laughs> This is a foundational card when we were doing that five card spread for your love life. And here's foundation over here, you know, again, about your thinking. Well, this has a lot to do with confidence, courage, being able to power through the adversity, the challenges. But I'm also seeing, again, a need for patience, which I saw before with that temperance card, that there's some kind of impatience. Some of you, again, it's something, is, it, and it might be a patience with your work, or patience on waiting for this person to come into your life that you want to get a new sexual union with. Because it's almost like somebody here, I think it's you, is not, there's definitely a desire for it here and a waiting on it to come in. But there's no action. There's no talking. There's not, you know, I'm getting waiting with both of these cards. And some of you are maybe, you know, just coping with work and trying to show some restraint, okay, while you're waiting I think you and this other person, I'm, I'm getting a lot of waiting, a kind of hold off type of energy going on. This person is, well, we were going to wait and see where this goes. And I feel like yours is, are you waiting for them to come to you? Or are you waiting for your work or, you know, your, eff your effort to pay off? I'm getting that there's some kind of timing issue. What are they feeling? What are they feeling? Powerless. Paralyzed, ineffective, weak, inadequate, guilty, <clears throat> worthless, incompetent. That's pretty bad. Okay. Um, I really feel there's something that this person wants from you and that you're not giving it for whatever reason. And because of, I just heard low ball, low ball. Okay, they feel that they're being low balled is what I'm um, getting intuitively. Um, and they're feeling like they know that they deserve more. And the fact that they're not getting more is making them feel like they're not being valued. How do you feel? Frustrated, panicky angry, lonely. Both of you, both of you are thinking a lot about this, okay? But, yeah, there's a lot of frustration here with you. Um, going back to, uh, uh, are you not being patient? Are you not, it, it, is exercising restraint really hard for you, okay? It takes time, this healing work that needs to be done. It, somebody's got to put the investment into it. It takes what it takes for as long as it takes cancer. I am getting the feeling like somebody wants instant results, and that's just not how it works. Sorry. Um, panicky, lonely. Somebody's afraid of being alone, alienated. Um, there's some anxiety about this. And I don't know, this might be something that you're contemplating in your alone time. You know, during prayer and meditation, you're not really saying it. You're not really taking action, but you're just kind of frustrated because you're like, what's going to happen here? Am I going to just be um, stuck out in the cold? Is it just going to be me and my hammer? Hammer in a way. Waiting on my ships to come in. And for how long? How much longer? I think the waiting is getting to you, honestly. You waiting on it is just getting to you. Any romantic advice? Any romantic advice? I'm feeling this. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Uh, we get a lot here. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Stay optimistic about your love life. Very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you. Wedding. I told y'all. You know, this is a soulmate. 
this might be somebody that you um you divorced right because i i saw i saw over here right this could be a divorcee could be widow widower this is somebody you've been with a long time but i do see a switching of partners Um, and I saw family issues coming up over there. True love is at the foundation. With a let go of control issues, I'm really feeling like it's tied to you of, you know, trying to control outcomes. And I mean, to a point, I, I get that. I think actually both parties are concerned about what's going on here. Where is this going? Um, what's being given? What's being exchanged? Um, am I getting what I deserve out of this? Am I getting um, what I what is fair? Um, am I being empowered in this relationship? Uh, I think that if there are some fears of, I don't know, being abandoned or just stuck out, I need to talk about that. And I know this is easier said than done, but I'm kind of getting the vibe like... Just let it be. Let it be what it's going to be like. Let it take as long as it's going to take. Um, you got to just keep going back to, it. you know, it takes what it takes for as long as it takes. Like, just stop looking at the clock. Stop listening to it ticking. Okay, just do what you got to do to get, uh, get done what needs to be done. Um, because I feel like somebody's feeling disempowered in this dynamic. Somebody's feeling um, that they're not being given what they deserve. And again, maybe you're struggling to do that. Maybe you're struggling to empower them or give them what they deserve, but there's some kind of, something is frustrating you, maybe blocking you, or it's, it's some kind of lesson, uh, some kind of lesson about it. Again, if it's not your story, maybe it switched. Or maybe go listen to your, you know, listen to sun, moon, rising, Venus, okay? Let me see what the shadow energy is here. Somebody is being really cold. There's a lack of warmth in this relationship. Ruthless behavior, medicating. Somebody's just not dealing with reality. Pity, pity party. Oh, poor me, poor me. I've got it hard. I've got it hard. But I mean, look at all this. This is a lot. Sweet Jesus. I'm taking it. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Emptiness, judgment, misguided, non-action, repelled, unlovable. Warning. <sighs> Cancer. It's like all, all the little, all the cards are coming out for you today. All right, let me, let me kind of short. I feel this person is not feeling loved. Okay, this person has definitely an issue with feeling like they're not being valued. They're not worthy. They feel unlovable. Okay. There's some issue between the two of you, somebody repelling another person or afraid that they're going to be repelled and pushed back. I see that over here with that four of swords, non-action on this end. Yeah, maybe somebody is misguided between the two of you. Maybe both of you, okay? And it goes back to this and that um, ace of swords in reverse. Very misguided. This person's afraid of what other people are thinking. This person, um, I, I think this is a shared, right? I, I'm, I'm going over here on the pitiful. I think this person is feeling, no, no, I'll take that back. I, I, think, I think of both as I sit with it more. I don't know who's medicating here. I, I don't see where that fits in intuitively, okay? Ruthless, again, I don't. I see both parties kind of being hands off about some of this stuff. All right. Um, honestly, yeah, because I see this person over here is not really talking or taking action. They're being passive. This person is like, you know, I'm not being empowered here. Um, they might have been disempowered or they feel that this union in some way disempowered them. And... Now they're to blame. Now they're to blame for their position in life or the difficulties in life because they engaged in some kind of disempowering. 
this person has a lot of emotional stuff. I'm going to say that, okay? I'm getting really deep into somebody's stuff. Like, this is almost a private reading, all right? Um, I think this is the warning, okay? Um, beware of ruthless behavior and somebody, you know, self-medicating. What is this person thinking? <clears throat> If I knew then what I know now, I would have made different choices. Yeah, I think that somebody got themselves um, in a, a union that, that they now feel has been quite disempowering and has left them feeling unworthy, unvalued, um, inadequate. And people are looking at them like you're guilty because you should have known better than to get yourself involved in that or what were you thinking or whatever. Um, or there's a fear of it. If I get involved, what are people going to think? I've never forgotten about you, even though you think I have. Okay, I'm getting these two. Your beauty still moves me. Oh, they're attracted to you. Would you reject me? Okay. I think that, again, like this rejection stuff, like both people have rejection issues, all right? And I don't really know that they're afraid that you're going to, like, out them but it's just that you're not going to put value into them like it i'm being brought back to where was it this somebody's not going to make the investment somebody is going to show up with one cent to add to it you know, they're going to put their two cents in on it and it ain't going to pay the bill. <clears throat> and who knows, they might skip out when it's time to pay the bill. And it really has nothing to do with this other person. This other person might really take it to heart, like personal, like you don't value me. When in reality, this person has some struggle that they're going through where they don't know. They're trying to overcome some major lesson in life of... Um, some hurdle is what I'm hearing. It's like a hurdle uh, of how do I bring value to other people? How do I add value to myself and others? No other compares to you. All right, we're talking about a soulmate, all right? Uh, definitely. And getting like you, you know, this person stands out to you. Or, you know, again, if it's flipped... They see you as a standout person, like you're not the, you're not like other people, okay? You're definitely a very important, significant person in their life. I can still feel you. I can't seem to find the right words to say to you. Is that why we're getting Four of Swords, where they're not taking action? And I'm seeing non-action there as well. Like, I can't find my words. You are an angel. Wow. You really like this person, as far as I can tell. You really like this person. What do they want? I'm going to put that back in because I hadn't finished answering. That was three of, uh, three of Pentacles again. What do they want? They want stability and security. Oh, my God. This is just what I said from the beginning. They want that King of Cups. Somebody's showing up like a page. Oh, not Cups, Pentacles. Somebody's showing up, Page of Pentacles. They want the King of Pentacles. They want somebody who's trustworthy, stable, secure. Anything else? What do they want? What do they want? What do they want? They may have a lot of options, okay, but they're not clear. Some of them like to fantasize about it. They also want an emotional connection. They have this very dreamy, dreamy idealization of, you know, this ideal person. They probably lose sleep thinking about it. Like, I want to get forward movement in my life. I think they want somebody who is, you know... This is a very idyllic type of, I want somebody that's going to check my boxes emotionally, spiritually, materially. 
and they think about it a lot at night. They think about, you know, I want somebody who's going to help me get progress in my life and move me forward with my material goals, with my emotional goals. But what do they need? What do they need? What do they need? What do they need? Please show me what they need. I'm feeling these two. Um, they might need to, you know, they might, they might need to go on and pass on an opportunity. Um, somebody's bringing in that, that cup of love, but I think that in order for them to get progress in their life, they maybe need to sit this one out. Okay. Or if something being offered to them is not satisfying, you know, maybe again, um, communicate about that. I'm seeing resistance. Resist what? I'm feeling this one here again. This might be an on the job situation because I see somebody work you know, like they need to work really hard to resist this, or it's on the job they need to resist. Um, might be more than one suitor because I'm seeing a lot of options here and I'm seeing a lot of rods coming at them over there. Um, this might be somebody who has a lot of prospects, okay. They need to think about who they're going to partner with, okay. Wow, that's a lot of stuff, okay? <sighs> Miss an opportunity to get some progress in your life. Work hard to resist something, um, maybe on the job. This is like a workplace romance for some of you. Uh, think about what you want in terms of partnership. And I'm also seeing communicate about what you want in partnership. Um, but I'm also seeing a very mentally restless type of energy in terms of you needing to really put a lot of thought and consideration into what is a fair and just exchange in partnership. Because with that Knight of Pentacles in reverse. It appears as though you've got maybe some options here that are just not going to progress you forward. You want to progress forward, but you need to look at somebody here is not going to progress you forward. Okay. And that, that needs to be considered. There's some karma or lesson attached to that where you've got to really weigh it out and consider what is a fair and balanced exchange here because somebody. If you put your work in this relationship, you are not going to get a return on investment. You are not going to get progress with this person. Like you want that, but you need to consider who's not going to give you progress in your life that you want. And I do see it very much attached to the material level, like on a material front. And I'm not at all saying, you know, be a gold digger, but, um, this might be in terms of your career, like if you've got your eye on somebody in the workplace and getting involved in an office romance is going to make you look like a bad person, make you look like a guilty party. Not good for your career, right? For others of you, you know, you have financial goals that you're trying to meet. You want to make some kind of progress with your life materially. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's, it doesn't mean that you're a gold digger. I think that at the end of the day, you really just want to be stable and secure. There's, there's nothing greedy about that. Uh, but this person is not going to get you there. They're not going to bring stability and security. I'm seeing instability here. This person not putting the work in, not put any effort or being inconsistent, lazy, stuck with their efforts. And I did see it over here. Somebody, I don't know, I'm starting to feel like maybe this is cancer or, you, again, you take it how it applies. But, or again, this might be you, cancer, um, and this is how this person feels. Like, I need a relationship I can trust, but they need to consider what's really trustworthy. Okay, what do you what do you want? What does cancer want? What does cancer want? What does cancer want? I'm filling this one. Oh, of course. 
<coughs> excuse me, you want the romance, you want the good feels. Look, it's directed their way too. There's that darn page of pentacles again. Oh my gosh, Cancer. Is this you? Are, are you the one showing up a day late and a dollar short? I, I don't mean to put this on you, okay? If this is not about money, this is about values, okay? They they want this. And it looks like you're showing up like that. Tell me more, please. Some of you want some good money news to come in. You want romance in your life. But again, um, I'm getting stuck energy here with that, that hangman in reverse. And it might have to do with responsibilities, duties, obligations. I mean, that's really more stuck energy as well. There's been a lack of confidence. Somebody's fallen off their horse. Lack of confidence. And interestingly, that was showing that, you know, you want confidence or you need confidence. But you, I don't know, you're. I'm not getting a good energy off of this. What is... <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to try to read it, all right? Uh, it's a weird message to me, honestly, because I'm getting a lot of heaviness, stuckness over here, lack of confidence, a fall from grace. But, oh, but I want to reunite. I want to come together with someone. I want to have emotions. But something is heavy and stuck over here. Somebody's fallen off their horse. Um, and surrounding all of this, you want, you want romance in your life. You want some good money needs to come in. You want to maybe reunite with someone. It, it's kind of like... <laughs> it's like okay i know this is like way off topic but it's like you know right now justin trudeau in canada you know the prime minister of canada his his country is in a full-out riot right now full-on riot all over the country and dude's getting on twitter talking about happy birthday to his daughter or you know putting out some kind of messages like ignoring the white elephant in the room like, I'm, let's not talk about this, right? It's, this is the kind of vibe I'm getting. It's, it's a disconnected from this. It's tone deaf. Like, gee, all this stuff is going on here. But hey, let's, let's just not look at that. Can we have the good times? Let the good times roll. I want to go out on a date. I want to be charmed or romance. Can I get some good money news coming in? I know it's not everything. But just a little something, a little crumb here. And hey, let's get together. Maybe have some drinks, hang out. Let's reunite, blah, blah, blah. Like, this is what I'm getting. But I'm like, holy crap. Look what's going on in the center of all this. That's what you want. That's what the card's telling me. I want to feel good in a situation that doesn't feel good, which, hey, can I blame you for it? No. Have we all been there? Of course, yes. You know? But it's just like, earth to cancer, no offense. Am I pissing some people off right now? Probably so. What do you need? Not just flipped? Holy shizzle. Look at that. Seven of swords. Um, you need to get a new strategy in your partnerships. Might have something to do with a Gemini for some of you. Uh, might have to do with some dishonesty, right? I saw the dishonesty coming up early on with that moon and ace of swords, both in reverse. Need to get a fresh start here, a new beginning having to do with the past. And I told you, I saw some cards indicating, uh, particularly with the temperance in reverse that showed up before, the past is dominating your present. And I'm, I do see a pattern here of somebody kind of being really tone deaf. Like, this is what's going on presently. But hey, let's not look at that. Let's just ignore that that's going on. This is a not dealing with it. This is um, an obscuring and not wanting to see the truth of the matter. Or the whole truth of the matter. Let's just go hide that under a rug. 
and make, you know, pretend it, it goes away, you know, or uh, let's not take out the trash and pretend that it doesn't stink, okay, and that eventually, you know, it's not going to rot and be absolutely disgusting, like at some point, somebody's going to have to take this damn trash out, you know, um, Somebody needs a clean start with the past, okay? And it might have to do with children, their childhood, someone they've gotten nostalgic about. Um, I am possibly seeing a child here, a uh, water sign, uh, Aquarius. I'm sorry, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Maybe an Aries there, maybe a Gemini there. But again, I'm seeing something about an unfair exchange, and there's that damn page of Pentacles again. All right, so there could be two two children here, possibly, um, you know, water sign and then earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And that page of pentacles has come up twice. No, three times, because we saw it over here in that five card spread. If it's not a child, this is, and it might even be both ways, it's a child and it is, somebody's not putting in on this at the level that they need to, it's just a drop in the bucket, and, um, and, and pages can also be about communications, needing to talk, but I'm kind of seeing on your end that there's been some passivity, somebody laying low uh, with the Four of Swords and with that non-action card, um, Somebody needs to get a new strategy um, in an area where the exchange has not been fair. It's not been equal. And this other person is being forced to look at what is fair, what's, what is just. Who's making the investment and am I being shown, you know, the value in this arrangement? I'm going to leave you off with some advice <clears throat> on how to get more love in your life. Advice on how to get more love in your life. For cancer, how can cancer get more love? I'm feeling this. Consider your foundation. Look at that home there. Look at that home. And I saw the home showing up over there. I saw children over here. You are being asked to look at how committed you are to love. Yet some of you, the, the, the blockage that I saw for you early on, these challenges and you being taken to task, where was it? Some of you kind of, like it came out this way originally, remember? So some of you have been working on this. You really have, but you haven't completely overturned it. It didn't show up like that. So you've been kind of trying to overcome this, but you're not quite there because you know what? It's going to take more. And, and I'm sorry to say some of you only been putting this in on it. And Spirit's trying to show you how bad do you want it. Because what's required is this. This. And this is about trust. It's not just about adding value to something. It's about trust. And, you know, somebody, this is a lack of trust here. And that's, that's having to get addressed. How bad do you want it? You're being asked to look at how committed you are to love. Consider your foundation. Yes, the home. Do something for someone else. Sweet Jesus. Been saying it all along. Give your attention to someone else. Okay? Um, for some of you, you know, it's going to mean different things for different people. For some of you, it's like you, you need to go focus on something else. Okay? For others of you, it's that whoever this, um, this self-interested, I'm not sure where I saw it. It came up in the reading before. Some kind of self interested um, energy. I don't know where it is in, in, in the mix of all these cards, but I, I do recall it came up. Somebody is very self-interested and, and, and whoever that person is, they need to drop that. They need to drop that like a bad habit because that is wreaking havoc on their life and the lives of others. And again, that might be attached to this over here, why there's been a blockage in these soul unions. Somebody seriously needs to get the memo. Um, I hope I didn't piss y'all off too much, but I, I had to get it out. All right. I um, hope y'all have a good Valentine's Day till next time. Wishing you all the best. Be blessed. Okay, thanks for watching to the end. I want to talk to you guys about private readings. 
Nothing is as accurate as a private reading, right? Nothing. And that's for me because, you know, not only am I pulling cards just for you and only you, but I'm looking at your unique astrology when I do these readings. So as many of you know, I do more than just love readings, but I'm going to speak to the love readings right here. Uh, for those of you who want to know what kind of love readings you can get from me, I'm going to tell you. But if you want to know more about the other readings I have, go to crownedones.weebly.com and you'll see everything that I offer there. Now, briefly, you know, I think the easiest, quickest reading you could get from me is probably like a 12-month love forecast. This is really good for people who are single or you know, they're trying to make some important decisions with their love life over the next 12 months. And they want to know, you know, what is the energy supporting? What are the challenges? How do they make the most of it over the next 12 months? Really helpful for that. Um, if you're in a relationship, I do synastry readings between you and that other person where I look at the strengths and weaknesses of the relationship. I give advice. I pull cards again based on the astrology and tarot. And I've also got a this or that uh, reading or a should I stay or should I go reading uh, where I've kind of got, you know, these two options that play with the cards where let's say you're choosing between maybe two dating options and I'm looking at the synastry between you and these two people. Again, what are the strengths and weaknesses of either person? Who should you go with? Or on the should I stay or should I go? Um, this is if you're in a relationship and you're trying to make the tough decision, you know, what's going to happen if I stay versus what's going to happen if I go. And um, finally, I do offer a reading, which I think is the most important reading you can get, but it is pretty comprehensive. Frankly, I think it's the reading everybody should get first, but it's like two hours long. And for that reason, it's my most expensive reading, which I do offer payment plans for, but um, it's the ideal life partner reading. I personally feel like don't go on a date without it. <laughs> you've got to know, you've got to know, you know, um, your love nature, your sexual nature. Um, what are your needs? Like who's going to check those boxes? Who's not? I'm going to look at your Juno placement. Who is your ideal life partner? I'm going to look at what's going on in your seventh house, your eighth house, your fifth house. And things like that are going to help you understand yourself better so that when you get in and out of relationships, you understand what works for you and why. Very important reading. Um, but again, everybody's at a different, you know, budget. And so, you know, I even offer a really a custom reading. If you want to come in and just, uh, you have a budget, you have a time frame that you need to work within, um, we can definitely do that. And you can just come in with your own questions and I can answer that. But obviously, I can't do, you know, 20 questions in 20 minutes, right? Because um, for those of you who know me well, know I can go very deep on one question alone, particularly if I've got your astrology. We can go way deep. So if you want to get a private reading with me, like I said, go to crownedones.weebly.com. Would love to work with you. Till next time, be blessed.